The Distillers Company Limited was a leading Scottish drinks and pharmaceutical company which at one time was a constituent of the FTSE 100 index. It was taken over by Guinness and Co. now part of Diageo in 1986 in a transaction which was later found to have involved fraudulent activity becoming known as the Guinness share trading fraud. Topic history The company was formed in 1877 by a combination of six Scotch whisky distilleries, McFarlane & Co., John Bald & Co., John Haig & Co., McNabb Bros & Co., Robert Mowbray and Stewart & Co. This company was born out of a trade association called the Scotch Distillers Association formed in 1865. It combined with John Walker and & Son and Buchanan Dewar in 1925. It was acquired by Guinness in 1986, forming United Distillers and the majority of its assets are now part of Diageo. Pharmaceuticals <laughs> 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 From 1942, Distillers Biochemicals DCBL operated an agency factory of the British Ministry of Supply manufacturing penicillin in Speak. The plant was one of the first two factories in Europe to produce penicillin. Following World War II, DCBL purchased the facility for approximately $4 million. Distillers was also responsible for the manufacture of the drug thalidomide in the United Kingdom. Thalidomide had been developed by Grunenthal with whom, in July 1957, DCBL signed a 16-year contract to market the drug. DCBL ordered 6,000 tablets for clinical trial and 500 grams of pure substance for animal experiments and formulation. Thalidomide was marketed in England under the name Distival, beginning on April 14, 1958. Advertisements emphasized the drug's complete safety, using phrases such as non-toxic and no known toxicity. Later, thalidomide was marketed under the names Asmavil, Tensival, Valgus, and Valgrain and found to cause nerve damage and malformations in births. The Speak site, also known as Speak Operations, was eventually sold to Eli Lilly and Company in 1963. <laughs> <laughs> Chemicals and plastics Since 1915, during World War I, distillers supplied industrial alcohol for making explosives. In 1922, it started to manufacture discal branded motor fuel made from alcohol. In 1928, it formed together with Turner and Newall the Carbon Dioxide Co. Ltd. to for sale of gas, a byproduct of their operations. In 1930, distillers formed the British Industrial Solvents for production of acids and other solvents from industrial alcohol. In 1933, it formed Giprock Products which was sold to British Plaster Board in 1944. In 1937, distillers acquired British Resin Products. In 1939, it acquired a controlling stake in commercial solvents and 50% interest in BX Plastics, which full control was acquired in 1961. It followed by getting 48% shareholding in F. A. Hughes & Co. in 1941 and taking the full control in 1947. In 1947, F. A. Hughes & Co. was merged into British Resin. In 1947, British Petroleum Chemicals was incorporated as a joint venture of AIOC and Distillers Company. In 1956, the company was renamed British Hydrocarbon Chemicals. In 1945, Distillers formed a joint venture British Gion with B. F. Goodrich to produce polyvinyl chloride, and in 1954 it started a partnership named Distrine with Dow Chemicals to produce polystyrene. In 1955, it took full control of magnesium electron. 
In 1967, BP acquired chemical and plastic assets of the distillers company which were merged with British Hydrocarbon Chemicals to form BP Chemicals. Topic: <laughs> Directors of Note. Leonard Alsager Elgood FRSE 1943 to 1960. Topic. See also Pharmaceutical industry in the United Kingdom